Hey everyone, welcome to Crafty Maggie's five year YouTube anniversary. We are a group of ladies doing a hop and we are all scrap lifting Megan. My name is Daisy and I will be scrap lifting that page that you just saw. I was trying to use the four photographs originally, but my photos couldn't be cut down to size in order to make all four fit. And I was honestly too lazy to resize them. So I am doing three, <laughs> three rows instead of the four. And I still liked the end result. It had good, that layout had good bones to go with it. And actually, Megan made that layout using a sketch by Miranda Weber. And she did that for a secret, not secret, kit club uh, sort of a crop that they have. They have some sort of crop online. I don't know. I don't subscribe to this secret, not secret kit club, even though I wish I could because... But I'm on a spending freeze, so anyway, I digress. <laughs> Here I'm using washi tape because I did want to create borders to kind of hug the layout. I don't know if it really needed it, but I was my intention was to use washi tape because that was part of my kit that I used for the month. I do make homemade kits for those of you that are not familiar with my channel. And for the month of February, I ended up using a paper bag from Crate Paper, the Hello Love Collection. So I am using three photographs of my son and he's creating Valentine's Day gifts for his teachers. This was when he was in pre-K. And I am trying to cut these papers to size in order to get the rows correct and to, in order for them to have that type of um, even spaced border around the edges. And so I use the I was trying to be very precise about the measurements, even though I'm really, I don't think I'm very linear to begin with, but I just really liked the simplicity of this layout. And that's why one of the reasons why I chose it. The other one was because it was such a cute collection that she used. <laughs> um, I just wanted to live vicariously through it she had created using that collection. I believe it's the sweater weather collection, but don't quote me on that. I'm not really too sure. And let's see here. So here I was using that card. It's a pocket page card and it's double sided. I believe it's from Pebbles or Simple Stories. Either way, I was going to use that on the bottom row on the right hand side, but that didn't end up working out because on her layout, she had the strip of pattern paper going through from one side to the other or just one solid piece of uh, pattern paper and I kind of wanted to stick very much to that and so here you see that I am laying down the layers that took me quite a bit although I am a slow scrapbooker to begin with I tried to make sure that the rows and that the rows were even themselves and once I figured out that that looked straight enough to me at least with the naked eye that um, I was okay with that and I started gluing stuff down and I had a little help from that tea ruler just just to make sure that it's not going to look a little bit uneven. I do not end up perfectly cutting all the papers on the photograph straight all together. So if you see the close-ups you can see that some of the pattern papers are smaller than the photographs in one instance or vice versa that the patterns are smaller than the photographs. But that kind of... Um, irregularity doesn't bother me. I wanted to back the washi tape because I wanted the colors to be a little bit brighter and also I wanted to make sure that they were going to stick down and so I glued a piece of pattern paper white side up to the washi so that I could make sure that it wouldn't lift up and I wanted to make sure that it was down securely and that it was in a thicker type of piece. I don't know if that's going to make sense. I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I did back up this uh the journaling card and I did decide to leave it up on the top right hand corner. Although in the end I do make I make the decision to make that uh tag and I decide to make a pocket for it over on the left hand side on the back of the page because it didn't go with the design after all as hard as I tried to make it go through. I am using, I am trying to use these overlays and those overlays are from the note, love notes from Crate Paper. This is from the Heart Day collection and those are 
it's a rosette from the embellishments and I am using that gold uh, muted gold foil thickers and they say Valentine's Day because this is like in 2014 and I did I did say that yeah that my son was making Valentine's Day gifts for his teachers so I did use those words crafting for and I did Frankenstein that second R out of a P and I don't remember what other letter I used but I did end up making it and it doesn't you really can't tell that I doctored a letter because I was out of R's and I pull out these embellishments from Pebbles so that I can pepper, you know, visual interests on each of the rows and in each of the uh, pattern paper pieces so that they wouldn't look so empty. I wanted to fill those up as like little mini vignettes for each of the pieces of pattern paper. And I think it turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. I used that pink tag and I overlaid that with another die cut and a gold heart foil as well. Here you see that I did use an overlay to glue those two pieces down and that was my landing spot for those two embellishments. And I'm using foam adhesive to kind of give dimension to the layout throughout the throughout the page because it is so one dimensional. There's not a lot of lift or dimension in the pattern paper or in the photographs except for the matting, the black cardstock matting behind the pages so I did do that for a bit of dimension but other than that it didn't have any real 3d type of dimension and so I tried to do that with the embellishment so that it would create interest and depth uh, with the shadowing of the foam letters and the embellishments got a little bit of a uh, foam tape as well as you see here I had a lot of fun using this kit and this type of theme I always like using these cutesy type of embellishments I really <laughs> I think I can get away with it because my boys are young still <laughs> and it means that I can still especially with it being Valentine's Day I don't mind using pinks and hearts and flowers and all that cute stuff but I think I use it on regular layouts too so for me it's not quite a big stretch but it just seems really special here I try to find a line a landing spot excuse me for these words they say hugs and chocolate kisses and I use those are from Authentique and I tried to use this little banner and then I realized that I didn't have anything to lend on the right hand side and so I figured I use that banner and then I came across this little tag that says XOXO in gold either foil or glitter I can't recall I cut the tag the, this little banner down to fit into the pattern paper and then I glued the tag right above it to give it uh, more dimension. I do end up these using these heart little pa heart little gold glittered heart enamel shapes. Oh my gosh, that was a mouthful. And I glue them around, kind of substituting, not kind of substituting, substituting enamel dots. I peppered hearts all over the place, and I'm giving the toothpick a thumbs up because it was a pretty good tool in order for me not to fiddle around with such little embellishment type things with my fingers because I feel like I have man hands I swear and <laughs> little embellishments like that are such a pain in the neck let's just keep it that way right um I did remember that I had that pick me up stick from silhouette and so I use it that instead of the toothpick and that was the last of the embellishments that I did for my layout here I'm doing a bit of a close-up and you will get pictures in the end. Don't forget to check out the other ladies. I will try and have links down below. Um, also, I think Maggie's also doing a video. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she? And don't forget to leave her some love and give her some congratulations for her five years on YouTube. I have gotten to know her in the past year and she is a wonderful creative person and a special and thoughtful friend. So here are some close-ups coming up in the pictures. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the other ladies and leave them some loves. And we will see you hopefully for our next video. If you like this video and what I create, I do do scrapbook pages mostly. And sometimes I do the occasional card or talk about organization. And if you decide that you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and... Also subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you so much for watching and congratulations again, Megan, on your five years and you all have a great day.
Bye.